what you need in your life is more LEDs. Here's the laser engraved back I made in the last video. Time to spice it up a little bit. And I wanna do it with this. This is a light up logo kit that I found in the markets. You take out your old Apple logo and you put this in and solder it onto the backlight and the logo glows whenever the backlight is on. But I don't want an Apple logo. I want a Strange Parts logo. It's a little flex PCB. Here's the, the logo part. This part up here has a few connectors that solder onto the backlight where it gets power. So what you do is take out this silver insert here and this part just fits right into the back of here, right into that logo hole. And then this part up here, it solders onto the backlight for the LCD. And that's where it gets its power. So whenever the screen is on, the logo lights up. The other thing that I bought in the markets, a benchtop power supply, and I got it used. It's actually pretty nice. Um, I got it for like 20 bucks. So I powered on. Current limiting on this side, voltage on that side. The only problem is it's really loud. So check this out. Here we go. Pretty cool. So, that's what it looks like in a phone back. Here we go. Pretty cool. All right, so let's crack this open. I've got a uh, X-Acto knife. And let's see. Okay, so the top piece, it looks like, is a piece of plastic. And then looks like this black piece here is maybe like, like vinyl, like maybe vinyl out of a vinyl cutter. And then peel this off. It almost looks like a diffusion something or other. And then, so I think this is actually pretty simple. Just two side light LEDs. Uh, a diffraction grating, and then a, a piece of plastic on top. I think what I wanna do is replace this with an insert that has my logo in it, has the Strange Parts logo, and then on case, cut out this the white part of this logo and leave the red parts. I made sure to, to line up this logo over this insert hole, the insert indent here. So I think it's... I think it should work out. We'll see. So I need to find a CNC place that will cut this hole for me and we'll make this insert that goes in. A buddy of mine here in China, Andrew, is a mechanical engineer uh, and he works with a number of CNC places and he offered to make an intro to one that does small CNC. So Andrew connected us on WeChat and then I started describing to Eileen what I wanted and started sending her some photos to sort of illustrate what already existed in terms of the, the logo kit insert. But now she's asking for a drawing, <laughs> a CAD drawing of the machining that I want done. And I don't have one yet. I've done a reasonable amount of CAD work and 3D modeling in the past, but I'm, I'm a little rusty. <laughs> so this is gonna be a bit of an adventure. I've just sent the design files to Eileen. She said they look okay, but she's gonna have one of her engineers look at them. So, it's about 8.30 at night on Friday, and Eileen just messaged me on WeChat that they can process my job tomorrow, but I need to check on some design changes. They, they pointed out that I can't have sharp inside corners because the bit is round and they can't make a sharp corner. They have a, an open slot in their production schedule for me to come out and visit the factory and watch them do this job. So I'm very happy to go out and visit them. Eileen told me I need to bring a second phone back with me. Uh, they're worried about the thickness of the aluminum being too thin, I think, uh, and that they might screw it up, so they want to have a backup. So I'm headed to the market 
see if I can pick up another one. It's a little early. The, the markets don't get going until kind of the afternoon. Uh, but I gotta head out to the factory, so I'm hoping I'll be able to find one. Perfect. Yeah, okay. I'm in a uh, DD taxi on my way out to the factory now. Uh, DD is sort of like an Uber uh, in China. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. All right, now I gotta figure out where I'm going. Let's see. Okay, this is so the guard says it's here, and just need to message Eileen now, I think. All right, so we're here with Eileen. <laughs> we're headed up to the factory. So it's in this building here? In, yeah. In the fourth floor. Fourth, fourth floor, level, yeah. okay, great. It's your new factory? Yeah. Oh, excellent. <laughs> How long have you guys been here? Uh, four months. Four months, okay, so brand new. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool. Oh, my God, unique. Evening. Awesome, excellent. <laughs> so, this is the one that I showed you the picture of. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's the, the cutout. Yeah. And then I have a second one um, if we want. Okay. Should be, okay. They should be pretty much the same. So we need a one to test. Which, okay. Which one? Um, let's test with that one. Yeah. And then and then we'll try the finished one with this. If we can, I would like to line it up so that it's just the white part here to match up with the laser engraving. Yeah. Alright. So the insert, uh, the the one is a yeah. little small. And little smaller. Yeah. What do you recommend, or what does he recommend for the size of the insert? Point the one millimeter. Okay, I made 0 0.075. Let me give you a little bit more context about what we're trying to do. It's going to light up, so there's going to be light that shines through it, like this. So in terms of the fit, about like this, like can it can fit in, but no extra space around the around the logo. Yeah. I am not a mechanical engineer. I, I am a software engineer. Me too. So, okay. Oh, you're a software engineer? No, yeah. I'm not an engineer. Oh, not an engineer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we will make a one in the zero, uh, point zero seven five, and the, the other one is zero point zero five. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, good. So he's going to make the change here? Yeah. Okay. I apologize if I make stupid mistakes. <laughs> I am learning. What is he doing now? Programming. Programming the CNC machine. Yeah. Yeah. So telling it where to go. Yeah, yeah. Like what, in what order? Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is cool. Oh, wow. These guys know way more than I do. It needs to be oh, white because it has to... We can paint it in the back. You can paint it. I, I'm worried that this will not transmit the light properly. It needs to be I white. We can paint it on the back. So you can paint it on the on back. The front to see it's a, a transparent. Okay. So you'll, you'll try it yeah, we can try that. This is also like painted. Painted. This oh, it's also painted. painted. Yeah, yeah. Really? Not a, not it's a painted white. on the back. Okay, I wondered. I was looking at it and I was like, how did they make this? Yeah. Okay, cool. So now we're setting up the tool head.
so he milled one side, and now he's going to mill the other off. I think that's what's happening. And these are the, these are the inserts. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, uh, it's the same size, but it's not the, it's not the curved corners. Yeah, it should be the same size though. Yeah, what, what are they worried about here? Uh, no worries. No worries, okay, okay. Is it, is the question about the corner? They, they just talking about the how to hold it. About how to hold it in the machine? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm really curious to see how they're going to hold the back without scratching it. So Eileen, what is happening right now? Why, why are we milling the top of this? So, so make, make this plate is very, very, very flat. Yeah, very flat. Very flat. And then we're going to put the, the shell on there? Is yeah. that the idea? Okay. That's very smart. <laughs> very smart man. He's thinking nervous. <laughs> oh, he's nervous? I'm sorry. You're, you look great on here. Tell him he looks very handsome and very smart. <laughs> Is this raise going to be a problem? This, <laughs> this bit? <laughs> Maybe make a hole for it? Yeah? yeah? No problem. He doesn't think it's aluminum? Uh, he says the material is very hard. Very hard. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me because it's so thin. You know, it's it's such a thin material that maybe it's very hard so that it, yeah. it holds shape. Uh, he's having to sharpen. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah. He painted the. Oh, he painted already. Uh, oh, the front. <laughs> oh, oops. The middle of the groove is uh, too big. Yeah, so it's that middle groove right there that we're concerned about. Yeah, it looks good. I think it'll look better when the, there's no paint on the front. <laughs> it's okay. We'll do the next one without the paint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the other question is whether this logo is aligned side to side with this. I was having a very hard time measuring this with my calipers. So what I've been doing is putting it on a table and then measuring like this. Looks good. Yeah. I think it's okay. We just want to make sure it cuts out the, the white part here. Yeah, so 
I don't know. What, what do you think? Was this the right order to do it? To laser first, then cut, or cut first, then laser? Cut first, then laser. Cut first, then laser. Okay, well. Here we go. So this is the real one. Holy cow. There it goes. This is the finished one. This is the moment of truth. Did it line up with the laser? Oh, I see. No. It's off a little bit. Well, the uh, laser engraving doesn't quite match up with the machining, so the hole uh, doesn't quite match up with the laser engraving. But honestly, that's my fault. I was having such a hard time precisely measuring where the laser engraving was. The laser engraving was not that accurate to begin with, so it's all a learning process, to be honest. So uh, not, not at all bothered, just uh, another step. Beautiful. <laughs> Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Cut all the way through? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Okay, good. So we're having a lot of problems with making the insert big enough to, to fully fill the hole. The, the outside seems big enough. Uh, the, the outer circle is fine, um, but the inside bits uh, seem to some, somehow be getting too small. Um, they're running it with coolant now, which they haven't in the past, so maybe the plastic was melting. Uh, I don't know. I, there's been a lot of discussions in Chinese that I uh, <laughs> am mentally privy to, but um, the engineer apologized and I said, hey, no worries, like I'm totally enjoying this and uh, learning learning a ton today, so um, no worries to have to run this multiple times. I think he's a little embarrassed, but um, it's no problem in my, in my opinion. All right, we'll pull in round four out here, I think. Hopefully this is the, the magic touch, the magic one. time to put this phone together. But I realized I'm missing one little minor thing, which is that there are uh, these little fittings here. Uh, like this is for the, the camera. There's this little lens that, that fits in here. There's a little piece of uh, plastic that goes over the flash. Um, there's some black plastic that goes in here where the lightning duck comes in. I don't have any of those uh, for this red back. So 
uh, I'm gonna head over to the markets, hit up my favorite back booth, and uh, see if they can they can hook me up. So as usual, she was super helpful. She hooked me up with this lens cover and all the other little bits and pieces I need. And uh, all that's left now is to put together this phone, which, you know, given I've put together a few of these by now, uh, should go a little easier, hopefully. So the first piece is the bottom cable assembly. It has the lightning jack and the headphone jack on it. Um, it's got some stickers on the back. Just peel those off, stick it into place. Now we need to put some screws in. Next, I'll put the speaker in. So, next is to put on this top flex connector. Uh, this is the top buttons here. So, we're gonna put the buttons in now. That is not gonna work. These buttons don't even stick out. buttons. Dang it. All right, I found these silver buttons and they actually had the little loop of wire on the back. That works much better. I don't know if it looks very good, but it actually looks okay. Yeah, there we go. Man, these buttons, they're like the hardest thing about assembling these phones. Literally the hardest part. I think that'll work. So now we're getting into like a serious amount of brackets like this. Okay, a Taptic Engine just sits in there. Before this gets too much further, we have to do the important part, which is to put the logo in, which is this little guy. I'm just gonna put, I think, just a few drops of super glue to hold that puppy in. Boom. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's get out one of these logos. Okay, so there's the white part. And then there's this like diffuser that sits in back. And then this part solders onto the screen. So I think I'm gonna put, just tack a little bit of glue underneath here. Now let's try putting the logic board in. Okay. And then how does this work with the battery? This guy needs some work. So I'm gonna put this button on there. Home button clicks. Okay, bunch of cameras and stuff up here. Yep, that looks good. So I think the screen is done. This needs to be soldered onto here. So the logo is powered off the screen. Battery in there. Boots, that's a good sign. Oh, look at that. It's not perfect, but <laughs> to start. Uh, that needs a little tweaking. I don't know if you can see. It's not very even. <laughs> but, I don't know. Uh, it's a starting place. Tweak a little bit. Moved it all the way down. The LED is down as far as I could. Not, not quite at the level of quality that I wanted. The laser's off a little here. This logo doesn't light up quite like I want, but as a first prototype, yeah, I'll take it. This is one spending a long time in the making. Custom logo, turns off with the backlight. Not bad. Yeah, that about does it for this time. There's one more thing. 
I want to do to this phone. I'll give you a little hint, which is that while I was putting together this phone, I took off the 16 gigabyte sticker. I want to do something about that. So stay tuned. There's one more uh, episode in this series, this trilogy here of pimping my phone, uh, pimping my iPhone. Um, stay tuned. Uh, that'll be out shortly. As always, I'm Scotty from Strange Parts. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button down below and stay tuned for more adventures. I'll see you next time. Oh, and one more thing. I wanna give a quick shout out to Eileen and the team at eMake. Thank you guys for doing all the CNC work. You're awesome. Uh, if you would like to talk to Eileen and her team about having them do uh, a prototype or some CNC work for you, uh, you can find their website and contact information in the description. Mm -hmm.